All right, so I have something that I'd like to record into Ableton Live, and I'm utilizing all of my parts here. Uh, and like we said before, we have six individual parts, essentially. And what I need to do is have six audio tracks that I can record all of this stuff into. Right now I have one audio track. I can simply just duplicate this track, it's probably the easiest way to do it. I can select the track header. My shortcut for duplicate is Command D. One, two, three, four, five. Together that makes six tracks. And I don't need this MIDI track, so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this. All right, so all I need to do now, if I play circuit, it's my little hot jam going on right now. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of an effect to synth part two here. Let's see, maybe add a little reverb. A little delay too, why not? And then we'll just turn this track down. All right, so this is what I wanna record into Ableton Live. So in my mixer section of circuit, I'm gonna go ahead and mute everything that I'm not gonna record in this first track. Now the beauty of the MIDI sync is that Ableton Live is synced to circuit. Now you might have noticed the clock seemed a little bit off just then, and we're gonna address that relatively soon in the next video. But for now, we're good, okay? So I can record this in passes now, and I know that Ableton's clock is always gonna be in sync, so when I record everything, uh, the timing won't be thrown off. I'm letting this run for a little while just to get the MIDI clock uh, in Ableton Live a bit more settled. It's pretty close to where it should be right now, so when I'm ready, I'll start recording the output of Synth 1 into Track 1. When the track is armed, all the clip slots in Ableton Live turn into, uh, well, there's circles next to the clip slot. If I hit this circle, I can record directly into this clip slot. And I just have a one bar pattern happening in circuit, so I don't need to make this a very long clip. When I'm ready to stop, I hit the play button again. And the way Ableton Live works, my monitor status is set to auto. If I'm playing a clip on this track, I'm hearing the audio from the clip, not from circuit. To prove this, I'll mute this on circuit and we're still hearing the audio because it's coming from Ableton Live. So let me unarm that. I will arm track two. Track two is already set to receive input from channels three and four because I duplicated that first track. So let me now unmute in part two. I'll start to record that when I'm ready. Now one of the biggest benefits of recording in this manner is that you can also manipulate things in real time. So for instance, if I go to the effects here, I've added some delay, could increase that, take advantage of that cool tape delay function of the delay here. All right, so I recorded all those changes. And again, we're hearing the clip in Ableton Live now. Let me go back to my mixer and I will mute synth part two. I'm gonna arm track three and just keep the process going. I wanna get drum one now, my kick. So when I'm ready, I will start recording this. And now I'm gonna stop. All right, I'll mute that, move on to this track, unmute drum two. Same deal here if I wanted to, go into my effects. that going. I'm going to arm the next track. This is going to be drum part three. So let me go back to my mixer. And last but not least, drum part four. I'll unmute that. Arm this last track. I'm going to record the output. Nice. This. So now, all the sounds that I had in circuit, they're all in my DAW, and I can control these all independently, which is ultimately what I was going for. There we go. My mouse ran away from me for a bit. <laughs> all right. So now we got what we need. Let me go ahead and stop this. Since Ableton Live is slaving the circuit's clock, I have to stop this on circuit. Uh, but our audio is in here. Very, very nice.